A lost dog is a huge marketing exercise. You want your dog to be a household name so that the world knows about your dog missing. The way things are handled currently is a lot of folks use social media only, probably because it's quicker, it's easier, it doesn't cost anything. However, a lot of people will give you advice online without knowing the particulars of your own animal. But there's a resistance to putting those signs out there and they're so, so important. Your number one tool, really. So this here is a flyer and this is a poster. It's really important to, to understand the difference because a lot of people install these thinking that they've postered an area when they haven't. A driver going, you know, 50, 60, 70 kilometers an hour will not notice this. It's too small. It doesn't have any neon background. It doesn't stand out. Something like this will definitely uh, get the attention of drivers. It's nice and bright and it's very short on words and has a nice big picture of the dog that's missing. This sign here is, we call this a floppy poster where there's no, there's no foam boards on it, nothing. So this one can be wrapped around a pole and taped at the top and the bottom and it is weather protected. This one here has a foam board to it. So it's a little bit more rigid and um, on high traffic roads, uh, it's nice and flat, easy to read, and you know, and very effective. You want to make two signs out of one bristle board. So you fold it in half, and then you just cut it straight down the middle so you have your, your team posters. You need a very thick jumbo black marker. And what you want to do is you want to write nice big letters, lost dog at the top. Next, you want to put a picture of your dog here. So you just take the picture. And then at the bottom, you're going to write your phone number down as big letters as you can. Uh, now's the time to weatherproof it. We like to use uh, clear tacking paper. If you don't have any of that, you can use a clear garbage bag, uh, although it's, it's not going to be as, as nice, but if you, if you use a clear garbage bag over your sign and you tuck the edges around, it'll work. So the clear tacking paper, you first want to just measure how much of it you're going to need. And then you cut it. And then you just peel off the back and you take your sign and you lay it face down on, on the sticky side, of course. Flatten it out. And you just fold the top and the sides. And you flip it over and you just remove any bubbles that might have formed. So you just made a floppy poster that you can wrap around a pole and secure with packing tape. That's very bright, will definitely be noticed. It can rain on this, this can last for a few months. You really want to do this once and do it right. Okay, so this is a, a foam board. All materials can be purchased at the dollar store. It is the cheapest place to get it. So the foam board is practically the same size as your Bristol board, okay? Okay, so what's your foam board? Uh, you want to cut this foam board in half. So you just need box cutter and you just cut it straight down. The middle. What I'm making here is just yet another sign, but this one we're going to secure to a foam board so that it's nice and flat for intersections that are busier and where it'll be easier for drivers to see. Where the floppy sign is more for like pedestrians. And we're gonna lay it down. You don't care too much to cover over the bottom edge because rain and snow kind of slide down anyways. It's more the top of the sign that's more important. And you're gonna take your foam board and you're gonna put it over top of this. And you're gonna fold it over. And you turn this around. So you have a ready to go 
flat board, easy to read, effective sign. So this one can be stapled onto a hydro pole or onto a wood stake hammered into the ground at intersection. The wood stake should be about four foot tall. We use half inch thickness. 